My name is Noah Reed. I'm uh, from Toronto and I'm an actor and I've been an actor since I was uh, six, seven. Um, mostly uh, uh, theater and voiceover to start off my career um, and uh, gradually kind of moving into film and television. Um, I studied at the National Theatre School of Canada. I went to high school at the Etobicoke School of the Arts. My parents are stained glass artists. And uh, my sister's a printmaker. What's your middle name? My middle name is Nicholas. How cute. And there's nothing else about me <laughs> that anyone needs to know. That was pretty good. <laughs> How do I follow that? I don't know. Um, I'm Melanie Leishman. I'm a Toronto actor as well. Mm -hmm. I also started in theater when I was very young. Oh. Yes, I also went to an arts high school. Huh. Oh. There's so much in common. Um, and yeah, I've been acting in TV and film for the last 10 years. Uh, a couple series, most recently taught in the book of Pure Evil. And um, I finished another film recently called Stage Fright. But yeah, based out of Toronto. What's your middle name? And then? sometimes Catherine. Catherine. Yeah, it's my mom's name. Lovely. <laughs> and my grandma's name. A lot of Catherine's. Well, uh, Stock is a guy who, as a young guy, lives like an old guy. Um, he's been, uh, I, I think he would say he's been forced into early retirement by uh, uh, certain events that have taken place and uh, is, is having a, a hard time moving past these events and decides that the best way to do it is really just to retire. Um, and to live his life uh, in an old folks home with his grandfather uh, who is uh, kind of going the opposite way and having a having a late life crisis and chasing and skirts really as, a, as, a, as an old guy <laughs> just acting like a young guy yeah um, and uh, and then I meet uh, Patty played mm -hmm. by the wonderful Melanie Leishman uh, at the old folks home because you're you're what you're volunteering yeah, I'm doing community service. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I'm a former criminal mm -hmm. at the young age of 18, 19. And um, yeah, so we both have uh, these things that have happened to us. I'm a little bit better at dealing with them than he is. Yeah, and she tries to help me move on. Yeah. And I'm reluctant. We help each other. We do. Kind of, do I help you at all? <sighs> I kind of ruin your life, don't you, in a way? I thought I'd give you, well, <laughs> I don't want to talk about the No, end. me neither. I don't want to talk about it either. Sorry. <laughs> I think it was a, 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 a lot of fun. Um, I, I've had a little bit of experience with old folks' homes just through, you know, my grandparents and stuff, and I think that's... That's the, kind of the the biggest relation that people our age have with an old folks home is either they've yeah. worked at them, uh, or they yeah, or they go and visit. Yeah, I used to volunteer at one. Yeah, um, and they're they're strange uh, they're strange places. You know, they're they're kind of built for comfort, and uh, and that's certainly what stock is is after. Um, it's amazing to work with with actors that have that have been doing this as long as. You know, uh, Danny and and Jean and Anna and Corinne have, have yeah, been doing have this. Yeah, they have so much wisdom and yeah. like really great like old Hollywood stories. Oh, that fantastic stories! And they're so, such great storytellers you knew too. Sinatra yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but I, I personally, I love working with with older actors. I mean, it's it's a lot of fun, and they're always they always have a little drop of wisdom every now and then for you and. And it's great just to see, you know, these guys still doing what they love to do um, and, and still learning and still figuring it out and, and, and still playing around and, and showing up every day and wanting to make it better. And yeah, It's exactly. such amazing. This, this career's got a lot of longevity if you can figure Persevere. out how to do it. Yeah. yeah. I'm so lucky to have Dane uh, create all of those moments for us to yeah. have fun in. And uh, like I think of, of dancing together, yeah. of riding on the scooter yeah. against that great like gray backdrop. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. The the treehouse and the, it was freezing rain. We were shooting the treehouse scene and. Yeah, exactly. That's something I'll not soon forget. Mm -hmm. um, but you're right. No, there's a lot of moments in this thing. And driving around on that scooter is a lot of fun. Uh, you know, I think we're pretty lucky to to be in in these jobs where. 
a lot of the time our our job is just to kind of be there <laughs> go and have as much fun as you possibly can yeah, yeah. It's always interesting to talk about um, moving on, moving forward, dealing with your past, living in the present. These are themes that I think about all the time. So to have someone explore them in the mm -hmm. way that Dane did, which was like quirky and funny and dark and uh, really interesting, you know, without hitting you over the head saying like, here's a heavy theme, here's a heavy dramatic thing. It was, it was really fun and uh, yeah, it has me thinking about um, the way that your past affects who you are in the present. Yeah, and figuring out, you know, uh, what you've done, how you, you can't change what's already happened and how you can try to move on and, and deal with, you know, whatever's going on inside you. I mean, I think that's, that's a, a very universal thing. And what Dane's done is kind of taken this, this universal, how do you move on, uh, theme and put it into something really specific and strange and and interesting and fun to watch. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these are vulnerable young people we're watching, and and uh, I don't know if you get tired of that. I don't. I think it's a really interesting time in these people's lives, and they're just trying to figure it out like anybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Want to do it? Just keep going. I mean, and if if. Uh, I don't know. I mean, my my father is always said. My dad's a, a stained glass artist. He's always going on about how if you can talk anyone out of a career in the arts, then you've done them a favor, um, mm. because then you, you, what you end up with is people who can't be talked out of it and have to be there. Um, so you know, I think that's uh, uh, the people who who need to do it uh, find a way to do it, and uh, and I think that's the that's the that's the best advice I could give. I don't I totally know. Totally agree. No matter what you're doing, I think it's always best to follow things that you're passionate at and you'll find the most success doing those things. And then if you're specifically wanting to be an actor, then it's important not to get discouraged. Um, perseverance is really important. And also dedication and I guess um, presenting yourself as someone that uh, feels authentic to you and uh, yeah, and that you would be proud of, hmm. of being. Mm -hmm. Nice so, one. Yeah, so your personal message was so strong, the guy in the next room fell down. He fell down. <laughs> Fainted. He's like, what am I doing painting this wall? <laughs> I have to be an actor! Oh, <laughs>